Hey there guys, what is going on? We have an absolutely insane class setup in Cold War for you here today. We are looking at an 8 attachment, no recoil MAC-10 class setup. This thing absolutely dominates at close quarters engagements. Just such a high fire, and that is the only thing you need to know about this particular MAC-10 class. Just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. And we've got loads of content coming up for you guys, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that. We are, of course, looking for 5,000 subscribers very soon and 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you could help me achieve that number, that would be absolutely insane. So of course, you already know much about the MAC-10, but let's talk about it here, all of the attachments and this particular class that appear because this thing absolutely dominates in Cold War. So as usual with these videos, the timestamps will be on the video's loading bar and of course in the description. So if you are looking for something specific, make sure you do skip to that section. But of course, we are starting off with that shotgun in the secondary slot. The Street Sweeper still, as far as I know, is a broken option in this game. Still, you get that one-shot kill distance of about 9 meters, which is pretty ridiculous for an auto shotgun. We've been talking about this all week, and this thing absolutely shreds. So we want to start off with that infantry V choke of that tighter ADS spread by 75%. So make sure you are aiming down sight lots with this particular option. In the barrel, we are going for that task force with a 72% increase to our damage, giving us that one shot kill of nine meters. In the magazine slot, we are going for that 18 round drum mag, of course, to have the most amount of shells to fire. And then in the handle, we are going for the airborne elastic wrap for that aim down side speed, of course. And in the stock slot, we are going for the no stock option for that sprint to fire speed increase. Next, we are looking at the tactical. As usual, you can choose whatever you do prefer in these slots, but the stim shot is the option that we go with to get that extra chance per life. Continue our gunfight if we do take more damage. Then we move to the C4 in the lethal slot. Pretty much choose whatever you do like in the lethal slot. These are all up to you. I usually roll with the Semtex or the C4. In the field upgrade slot, we are going for that jammer, but you can also choose like the field microphone or really whatever you do prefer. This is, of course, again, up to you. I usually like the jammer because it does deny enemy information. In the wildcard slot, I did mention earlier that we are taking eight attachments with this MAC-10 class that appears. So we do take gunfighter for those extra three attachments. You can run perk greed if you do only want to run five attachments on your MAC-10 though. In the perks, we are taking the most crucial ones for this particular class. So the flak jacket, of course, do not die to those explosives. You can swap this out for forward intel if you still want to see those enemy respawn locations, which can be very, very useful still. In the perk two slot, we are going for scavenger because this thing absolutely hoses through bullets. So you need extra ammo when you do kill people. And of course, perk three, you can take ghost or ninja here, depending on what you do want to do. If you want to stay off the mini map, you can take ghost. But if you want to move around the map silently, you can take ninja. So as for our attachments on this particular MAC-10 class, eight attachments, bad boy. Normally we start off with an optic here, but I feel like the iron sights on this particular weapon are not too bad. But if you can always choose an optic, you can take like a microflex LED or of course a mill stop reflex. I usually don't run an optic here. In the muzzle slot, we are going for that agency suppressor for that 100% muzzle flash concealment, as well as that 7% increase to our vertical recoil control. You can also take the SOCOM Eliminator for extra recoil control if you are feeling particularly spicy here. In the barrel slot, we are going for that reinforced heavy option for that increase to our damage range and bullet velocity. You don't want to take the task force with this particular weapon because the recoil is just too significant here, so we take the reinforced. In the body slot, we are going for that 5 milliwatt laser to increase our hip fire accuracy by 36%, which is a very, very good increase here, meaning we can just hip fire people from around corners. In the underbarrel slot, we go with that field agent grip. No doubt about this one. Field agent grip is such a good option for that vertical and horizontal recoil control increases. That means we hit the target very, very easily here. And without this, it's a little bit inaccurate. Magazine slot, we do want the most amount of bullets to fire as well as a very, very fast reload speed. So the 53 round fast mag, of course, is what we're choosing. In the handle slot, airborne elastic wrap as well for that 30% increase to our aim down sight speed, flinch resistance, and of course, aim while going prone. And lastly, we want to finish this off with the Raider stock, of course, with that sprint to fire speed and aim walking movement speed. Keep in mind that the Raider stock or any of the stock options actually do change our iron sights here. So you can see without this particular option, you get these weird bars, which makes it a little bit hard for you to use the iron sights. So if you are taking any of the stock varieties, you do remove those bars and it makes you a little bit easier to see with the iron sights. So as usual with these particular class setups, we are just going to jump into some gameplay here and have an excellent time. Haven't decided what game mode we're going to play yet, but hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's fun because this class setup absolutely shreds in Cold War still. Alrighty guys, so with this particular class setup, we do have to play in a certain way. We want to close off these longer distances. So sometimes you can just get caught. Is there a guy over there? What's that all about? What's happening? Alright, that's an interesting start for sure. Man, what what is going on? I actually don't know where I am right now. No, that's fine. This is fine. Can I have my gun back, please? God. Oh, what is happening? Where am I? Help me. Oh my god. What a start. Apparently just in their spawn consistently, despite that being our spawn previously. It was their spawn just then, apparently, and there's nothing I can do about that. But as I said, you do want to close off these longer distances. The only problem with the MAC-10, as I said, is that it does struggle outside of very close range, or at least medium distances. like, oh, come on. Just jump in here and spray that guy down. Is there a guy behind that truck there still? Let's go a different way. 
Always got to keep these sights up as we are rounding these corners. I mean, it is nice to run around the corner and just be able to sort of hit fire people. But you can see that you do still struggle with those longer distances. But yeah, we just got to control the close quarters engagements on this particular map. And there is plenty of those to be had, so that's always good. I think I just missed my shots there. Oh. I'm in a bit of a tough spot here. That guy has an M16 or an AUG and I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm going to go a different way. Nice, we just baited him into coming to us, which is always a good situation. I think there's going to be somebody over here. No, it doesn't actually seem to be. Where are the guys? The spawns keep flipping as our guys push into their spawn, so that's not ideal. But for the most part, you do want to control this particular building on Apocalypse. Otherwise, you don't have control of the map. If you control this bit, you control the map, essentially. Mm, nah, not worth. I'm going to try and... Ooh, they're respawning back here now. Strange little spawn. Okay. Just got to be aware. They are spawning here now. So I got to give myself the best chance of survival. Can be a little bit tricky when you are running their spawns though. Especially on this map as they're not heaps, heaps of cover options. You do mostly have to like expose yourself out to where they are shooting you from, so it's risky. It's a risky game as always. We dropped something there, but the spawns have flipped again, so we should move over into the middle. Nope, it will have flipped again, I guess. Maybe it did, but only one. So nice no recoil there. That's excellent, excellent work for us. Let's get that armor on. Getting that armor is such a huge boost, being able to take just less damage, have more health is really important. That missed him there, a little bit unfortunate. We should back off here. Three boys on this side of the map. I'm going to check to see four over. Got him. They are looking at me there, so I don't want to peek that side. And there's a guy. No. Knew he was going to peek. Like, those guys have to challenge you, like... They can't just let you sit there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's still in there. Bro, what did you think was going to happen? Ooh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Backing off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, leave me alone. Give me, just give me a second. Give me a second to think. Hit that harp up. Nah, he's good. I, I uh, He's going to get the flank, and I'm going to... No, we're good. All right, we're still good here. Pre-fire the little corner. We'll keep moving on our way. I don't want this video to literally just be me using the death machine, so... Keep going. We can push, push, push. And the spawns are flipped again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there before, to do anything significant here, but come on, let's go. I think the spawns actually might flip again. They are pinned back there. Nah, they flipped again and we're not going to be able to get any kills. We might actually... Eh, only three boys left. We actually made them leave. We're going pretty hard here. 23 and 1. It's not too bad. No. No, don't do it. I mean, this game needs to be about 30 or 40 points longer. Because we probably would have dropped a nuke on these guys. I mean, there's only three of them, so it's not super difficult. But still, a nuke's a nuke, I guess. You haven't got one yet. <laughs> you want to get as many as possible, I guess. So, you know, it's one of those things. This particular class that absolutely shreds, though. It's just such a good option of getting up close and personal with people, man. Like, it absolutely dominates those close quarters engagements. There's a guy in here. So you're easily able to just hit fire that guy down. Guessing the spawns are going to be up here. I was right. 21. Oh, we got that guy. Alrighty, guys. That was not too bad of a gameplay. I think we were, what, 27 and 1 is pretty good. I think we got a couple of kills. We weren't really that close to a nuke, but we did a pretty good job there. Anyway, we will have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second here because this gun absolutely shreds right now. Just this 8 attachment class setup dominates in Cold War. So as we mentioned with this 8 attachment, no recall class setup with the MAC-10, guys, this thing absolutely dominates those close quarters engagements. I wouldn't recommend you fight at your long distance. You probably want to run a smoke grenade or something like that as well if you are struggling to cover those longer distances. 
But this class that just absolutely shreds people at those medium distances, like I said, it's not really up for much competition at those very close distances. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it. Of course, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I massively appreciate it, and it really does help me out. We are looking for that 5,000 subscriber mark and 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you could help me out, that would be absolutely massive here. As I said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!